breaking the wall of acid mine drainage. Tamlin Sasha Naidu, Falling Walls Lab, Pretoria. This is a stream of acid mine drainage, a highly acidic form of wastewater containing high amounts of heavy and rare earth elements, sulfates and uranium. This stream is produced from one small mine in South Africa, but this one small mine produces up to one million litres of highly polluted water every day. The mine from which this emanates doesn't know where this water is seeping into. Groundwater bodies, farms, killing cattle and crops, resulting in millions of rands, even euros, of damage to the community and the environment. To make matters worse, the mine has no way of treating this water because it's just too contaminated with so many different components that treating would be too expensive. And this is just one mine in South Africa alone. But this is very much a global problem, affecting thousands of sites around the world. In 2015, the United Nations classified acid mine drainage as the second largest problem facing the Earth, second only to global warming. What is needed in this context is a cost-effective, modular solution that could be deployed at mine sites throughout the world. And that's where this project comes in. As I mentioned, acid mine drainage has high amounts of rare earth elements. Those are very valuable. In 1,000 litres of acid mine drainage, that's five euros worth of value. In that small mine, 5,000 euros per day. Using iron exchange technology, we can extract that, those valuable metals, sell them and generate a profit. Once we're done with that, we can treat the water. We do that in two steps using two waste products as reagents. The first one, steel slag from the steel industry, is used to raise the pH and lower the metal content. The next one, from the sugarcane bagasse industry, is used as a food source for bacteria that is able to reduce the sulfate. If we mix these two waste materials, hashtag circular economy, with our third waste material, acid mine drainage, in a stepwise process, we're able to treat that water to agricultural limits, and then finally to almost within drinking water standards. The nice thing about this technology is that all the products have a value and it has been tested at a lab scale and a pilot scale with resounding success at this one small scale in South Africa. At this point, I'd like to end with a joke, but I've been warned that my humor is a bit dry for topics related to water, so instead I leave you with an image. If we're able to treat this <coughs> small scale of acid mine drainage, then with a little bit more effort, we should be able to return sites like these to their original glory. Thank you.